We're up in Whiteham throughout the year. We're up here every week, every change in season, and we draw and photograph and sketch. And having artists in your wood, why would you do that? It's quite odd. When things are happening, we try and be around as often as we can. When you're an artist, it's better not to go intending to, to see something because it, it usually doesn't happen. If you're up there, things happen in front of you, and that's by far the best way of being here. We're interested in understanding landscape and because these woods are the university woodlands and they're full of people who are not just walking through it but they're studying it, um, my interest is to, to listen to the way that they describe the visual environment and then to start to try and represent and understand it through picture making. With the researchers, the other people involved, through um, talking to them you get a very different idea of what's going on. It does change how you look at things. We're slightly different to perhaps normal artists. We're not passing through, um, and that's why they've built us a studio here. So it's a, a prolonged engagement with a, with a restricted area. So we've been following particular trees, particular uh, scenes, particular appearances of plants, and documenting them, as a, in some senses as a scientist would, and asking people, what are we seeing? What, what is that? Why is that here and not there? Why, why has that disappeared? Why is that a week later? this year than, than last year. And those sort of things are starting to inform our, our picture making, I think. Relief printing is printing from the raised surface of the printing block. So all printing depends on some kind of surface that you ink up and then you put paper on, take your paper off and the ink stuck on the paper and there's your print. So your picture evolves slowly. It starts off quite featureless because there's kind of huge swathes of colour. And of course, if you're recarving your block, you can never go backwards, so you can never say, oh, my first colour layer should have been a bit bluer or slightly less green or something, because it's done. You're destroying um, your image the whole time. And then as you take more and more off, details jump out of your picture at you. You don't actually know what you're going to get until the end. The other thing that's uh, working as artists up here that's quite unique is the way that we can use the wood around us for our art. When they cut down beach and season it, we have some slices of it. We can make our images off, off local wood. It's great, it, it seems appropriate. You might get quite a strong grain in it. So then you can start to work that into the image. So the wood is more than just a printing block. It's starting to affect what that image is. It gives people a chance to see what you can do with the wood. And, and again, with inks as well, because we, we work with inks. You can make inks with oak galls. And for the last thousand years, that's been the principal source of black ink. So we'll do the same. And it, it, it's taking things from the wood using them and using them in a different way, using them in a non-scientific way, using them in, a, in an artistic way, so it broadens the, the kind of things that people can see that the natural environment should be used for. We're kind of a, a more accessible edge to activities in the woods. I think what you find inspiring about Whiten is is that it is actually very no it's a normal place. This is a woodland that you could find almost anywhere in southern England. It is a special woodland because of the scientists and the, and the work and because it's part of Oxford and so on. Um, but it's very normal and trying to, trying to make pictures out of normality, trying to find inspiration out of what's around us all the time, I find a challenge. It's very easy to make good pictures out of high mountains and, and exotic extremes. Whereas this is a gentle, managed woodland. Um, and the, the excitement about this is, is seeing it through different seasons, seeing the same tree, seeing the same clearing, um, when it's two feet under snow, when, when the bluebells are out, when it's suddenly filling up with plants, when it's suddenly uh, the leaves are dead, when it's got the, those lovely hoarfrost and things. And in, in those conditions, you suddenly see that there's magic in, in, in a very normal place. 